with J-Rod's life. So today I bought a new site, got a new site put on, and I was thinking about it, and I was like, well, uh, it might be cool to kind of do a little how-to site in your bow. Um, kind of just a, a basic, just, you know, start from the basics and uh, kind of just get that dial in, and then you guys can tinker and work from there. But, uh, yeah, so I wanted to... Um, Go ahead and show you guys what I got. And we got a sword sight. It's pretty sweet, pretty adjustable. Got a little light on there. It's five pin. So we are going to uh, jump right into this video. Let's get it going. Basically, a few things you'll need. Obviously, arrows, bow, Allen wrench, and a target. I'm going to get this uh, tripod set up, get the bow ready, kind of do a few warm-up shots. You kind of want to get your form and your shot sequence dialed and um, then once you're kind of warmed up you can start slinging arrows down down range and start seeing where your bow is shooting so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll start making adjustments and I'll show you guys how, how, how to do all that so we're not gonna get all crazy technical we're gonna try to keep it simple um, just so you know you guys can understand what's going on a little easier and just just like I said keep keep it simple so you want to have a range finder. You want to make sure that you are starting off at 20 yards. So your top pin, which will be this guy here, you're going to want to sight that in at 20 yards, right? Start off there. So you're going to want to make sure you're at exactly 20 yards. What I like to do is I like to do like three arrows so you don't end up ruining your fletchings or ruining your arrows if you start piling up on arrows. Um, and you want to try to aim at the same spot. If your arrows are shooting off one way or up or down or left or right, um, that's fine. You're, you're basically seeing where your bow is shooting and you want to focus on that one spot on the target and keep shooting there and then we'll adjust. So we'll get there, let's see, let's see what it's shooting, we'll see what it's doing. One thing that helps is having a big target so you don't end up having to like lose your arrow or break an arrow. Um, and try to aim at the center of the target because like I said, your bow's not sighted in yet. So let's see what these arrows are doing and see how far off we are. Again, we wanna make sure we're at 20 yards. That's where we wanna start, the top pin. All right, so right here, yards all right so we're gonna go ahead and shoot all three arrows and we want to get that grouping as tight as possible and that's how we know our bow is in that spot shooting in that spot All right, guys, let's uh, let's go check it out. All right, guys, so I am aiming <clears throat> dead center in the yellow. So we are, aren't that far off, actually, which is pretty cool. Um, so we are going to follow the arrows, right? So we're going to move the sight over and up. So basically, we're going to push the sight where the arrows are going. Just, just the simplest way to put it. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. This bolt 
is for your left to right. This one is for your up and down. So, looking like this, looking straight out. We want to unloosen. And it's always better to do micro adjustments so you don't overdo it. Um, and then you can get closer and closer until you're just dead on. All right, so we're going to follow that arrow to the right. Just a couple notches. Let's do a couple notches. We're going to uh, tighten it back up. Not too tight. You don't want to strip anything out. Just snug. Okay. And then we're going to unloosen the top and bottom. And we are going to slide it. Up just a hair again we're we're chasing the arrow all right just a snug little tighten and then we're gonna shoot again dialing in your bow you definitely want to make sure your form your peep sights dialed your forms dialed um, you know uh, it's hard to sight in a bow if you're not like in tune and in a rhythm with a shot sequence so make sure those things are dialed first. Um, so this is just basically on how to like sight, sight in your boat, you know. Um, all those other little tips and tricks are kind of due for another video, but yeah, let's shoot some more. See how much closer we get. Um, I am going to, I, I know that my bow is not too far off, so I'm gonna aim at a smaller dot, kind of closer to the right. Aim small, miss small. This might be the fastest I've ever sighted a bow in. Wow. Let's check it out. Alright. So... We got two that are right next to each other. We got this one that's nailed it. So I want to shoot that again and make sure all these arrows are kind of closer in the spot. So the one that actually hit the black, I might have been off on that. And the two that hit to the right might have been actually more on point. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's good to maybe even do two or three re repetitions um, to make sure that, you know, it's not you, you know. So, uh, but I will say the up and down that you guys noticed by that footage is is dialed. So basically now it's, it's they call it the windage. So it's my left to right. So the up and down is like, almost perfect you see all three of those arrows were like right in a line as far as like the level up and down um so let's see if we can dial in but i'm going to shoot another round of these three arrows to make sure that those that i'm kind of in that same groupness and then i can like micro adjust it just a little bit more and this is just a super simple and easy way of what i do to uh Sight my bow in. It's hard to hunt. It's hard to feel confident if you're not confident in your in your equipment. Um, so, you know, when I go out and I shoot a hog, <clears throat> whether I'm 20, 30, or 40 yards, I know where I put that pin, and I got my shot sequence dialed. Everything's good, and I know I'm gonna kill that animal. <laughs> all right now you see the the group the grouping i'm talking about guys that's three arrows 
all in the same exact spot. So level, we're in the black. We just want to micro adjust it over just another notch and then see what we're shooting in. We should be nailing that bullseye dead on. All right, let's get back to it. All right, you guys, so we are gonna make another very small adjustment. Remember, we're gonna chase the arrow. So we are off just a little bit to the right. We want to pull this arrow. Sorry. We want to pull this sight to the right, which is chasing the arrow. So there's one little notch. Do a little snug fit. Let's see where we're shooting at now. Uh, something else too. Um, make sure that the arrows you're using for practice are the same ones you're going to use for hunting. Make sure they are the same weight because the weight of the arrow is going to change your trajectory and it's going to make it drop so it won't be as accurate as the arrow that you practice with. Um, also the same way with your broadheads or your field points. So your field points you want to make sure are the same grain as your broadheads because again if they're not, man, if you use a hundred grain field point and use 125 grain broadhead, they're not gonna fly the same. So again, just make sure you're using the same weight on your arrows. We're gonna do a, a one slight adjustment over and we're gonna bring that that uh, up and down, down just a notch, and then shoot another round. It's all about just tinkering. You can fine tune it, you know, like obviously all three of these shots are gonna kill an animal, but you know, I'd rather be like dead on, so if I'm off a hair, it's still gonna kill the animal, than like almost on, off a hair, missing an animal, you know, so. All right, guys, let's do that round again. Sorry for the uh, dogs barking in the background. Neighbors' dogs, you can't help that. All right, let's go for the center of the yellow. Alright guys, <clears throat> look at that, I don't know about you guys, but I would say that is sighted in, woo, so uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and share guys, um, I hope you find this video helpful, um, thanks for tuning in to my channel. God bless you guys, and uh, we're going hog hunting tomorrow, so stay tuned.